What's up, Call of Duty athlete? We got a lot of stuff coming up on June 14th in a couple days for Season 4 and Vondel, and I'm going to let you know everything that you need to know about it. We have a whole slew of brand new gameplay features, including the reinforcement flare that are going to be game breaking, especially for ranked. If you're into that, pay attention. First and foremost, we have Vondel, the brand new Warzone map. Now, it seems like this is going to be a hybrid between Battle Royale sized and Resurgence sized. Charlie Intel says that it is a lot bigger than Ashika Island, but also a lot smaller than Al Majra. So we're looking at some sort of in the middle hybrid map because they plan on making this map not only available for Resurgence, but also probably something like Mini Royales on there as well. They said that that is coming at the reloaded portion of Season 4, as well as this will be on DMZ. The map itself, I'm going to throw an overhead of all the POIs on screen right now. It's very city-like with a lot of elevation, as well as there's a lot of water channels that are almost like streets that take you throughout the map. At the very center of Vondel, we have the market, the police station, the graveyard, the mall, which is all pretty basic. But then we have outside, we have a zoo, we have cruise terminal, we have a museum, we have a stadium, which is very similar to the multiplayer map Speedball. We have a university, we have an we have a castle with a moat all the way around it. It looks pretty awesome. If you want to pause in and take a more in-depth look at it, go for it. But we're going to move on from here. Now, sneaky big news here. They tried to tease this and just slip this into their blog post on their website. But Call of Duty is introducing something brand new that we've never seen before, and it is huge. It all starts with what they're calling a dynamic resurgence timer. Essentially meaning that if you're playing quads or trios on resurgence, and one of your teammates is crashes or is kicked... The game will then adjust your team's resurgence timer based on how many players that you have left on your team. So if you're down to a team of three or two in a quad lobby, it will then speed up your timers for you and it will take less time for someone to come back to make it a little more fair and not put you at such of a penalty. But while introducing this, Call of Duty slipped in this one specific sentence that is huge, especially for ranked. This sentence says, should those squad members rejoin, the resurgence timers revert back to their normal countdowns, meaning there is going to be a way in season four, should you get kicked or should your game crash, that you can rejoin your team. And yes, that is awesome for resurgence, but that also means that if you're kicked or if your app crashes in a ranked lobby, you should also be able to rejoin your team and not take that SR loss, or hopefully not let your team take an SR loss as drastic as it would have been as long as you can get into the game quick enough. We'll see how this goes, but this is huge news. Now the next piece of dynamic news is just that. We're going to get our first taste of dynamic weather in Warzone. Now dynamic weather, for those who have never heard of it, is just essentially the weather changing on the map fluently throughout the game. Now, Call of Duty has just said that they're testing this out for this season, and it's not going to be anything crazy. It's going to be more influential in the DMZ games than it is Resurgence. But on this map, there will be fog that rolls in and out throughout the game that will change the way you have to play certain parts of the map. Now, in my personal opinion, I think this is awesome for DMZ, but I would not like to see it happening too often in Battle Royale, Resurgence, but especially rank. I'll hold all judgment until I'm able to see it and play through it, but that's just my opinion as of right now. But if you're excited about this, let me know what you think in the comments. Eventually, it seems like they're moving towards maybe changing all the weather, maybe having rainstorms or thunderstorms and lightning or snowstorms even rolling in and out throughout gameplays. That's more down the line, but it is something that they're thinking about. If you've made it to this point in the video and you've not hit that subscribe button yet, this is your one-stop shop for everything Call of Duty Warzone, and I will keep you up to date with everything happening in the Call of Duty community. And please smash that like button too as we move on to the new vehicle, the Tactical Amphibious Vehicle, or otherwise known as the TAV. It is a four-passenger vehicle that can travel over land and water. It's basically a truck boat. <laughs> Now, because it's a hybrid, it's not going to be fast on land or sea, but because of the terrain in Vondel having so many canals of water as well as being on land so often and going back and forth, it's going to be very useful here. Now, formerly known as the personal supply box that we found in Fortune's Keep from Warzone 1, those were a major, major hit, and everyone seemed to love those. When you popped open one of those boxes, it drops your favorite loadout for you. So instead of having to save up the money or wait for a loadout to drop, if you find one of these boxes, you pick up your entire loadout and you're ready to go. Before the game, you just set up what your favorite loadout is and that specific loadout will drop out of every personal box for you. I'm super stoked that they're bringing this back. And last but not least, I think that this is the biggest implementation that they're putting into season four, especially for ranked. This is an absolute game changer. 
they're implementing what is called a reinforcement flare. Now you can find this reinforcement flare out of boxes or you can buy it from the buy station in preparation for late game, but it's a field upgrade that you can pull out and it will bring back one of your teammates immediately. You shoot the flare in the sky and one of your teammates at random, which is the catch, is gonna come into the game and redeploy. So if you're missing more than one of your teammates, it's going to bring one back for you at random. You don't get to decide. It's also going to shoot a giant flare up in the sky just like you would when you buy somebody back at the buy station and let everyone know where you're located. So it's a high risk, high reward option, but it's going to be an absolute game changer in ranked, not only throughout the game, but especially late game when there's no more buy stations left in the circle, in that small circle. You still have this to keep in your back pocket, literally, to bring one of your teammates back. Let me know what you're most excited for coming to Season 4, and as always, happy shooting.